Hello everybody and welcome to our story. Obviously we're not in our special place in St Mary's Church in the chapel and obviously we can't have all the activities that go with that story. The feast, the craft, tea and coffee for the grown-ups and for the children their feast. We can't sing the songs and we can't put the little people in the story where we would like to be. But I've brought the carpet here from the church and so let us have our story as best we are able. The Lord be with you. As always we have to open our basket and see what the story is and ask ourselves what God is going to tell us through our story today. We always need something to help us to tell the story. So here I have a light brown cloth. So let's begin our story. This is the season of Lent. It's a time when we get ready to celebrate the mystery that is Easter. All of us are on our way to Jerusalem. But who will show us the way? Jesus will show us the way. Every year the people of God go up to Jerusalem, the great city, to celebrate the feast of the Passover. It's a time when they remember how God delivered their people from slavery in Egypt to freedom in the Promised Land. This year, as they prepared to celebrate the feast of the Passover, they heard that Jesus was coming. Jesus was coming riding on a donkey. He was, a, so he was with his friends, his disciples, and lots and lots of people who were really, really excited because they'd seen Jesus raise Lazarus from the dead. And they believed that he could be the Messiah, their king. And as Jesus rode towards Jerusalem, people who were inside the city who had heard he was coming came out, all excited. And they lined the road. And as they came to see Jesus, they took palm branches. Right, well, this is a little palm here I have. They took palm branches and they waved them and they shouted. And they shouted, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And as Jesus rode into Jerusalem, they took their cloaks and they laid them on the ground in front of the donkey for the donkey to walk on. And as Jesus came past, they took their palm branches and they threw the palm branches on the road in front of him and the donkey. And as they threw them, they shouted, Hosanna is he who comes, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Jesus rode into Jerusalem with the people shouting and waving. It must have been very, very noisy. And Jesus went into the city. I wonder if you would have liked to have been there to watch Jesus ride into Jerusalem. I wonder if you would have waved your palm branch and called him your king. I wonder what sort of king Jesus will be. I wonder why a king comes riding on a donkey and not on a horse. I wonder what life will be like in the kingdom where Jesus is king. Earlier today we blessed the palm branches 
the palm crosses which have been made for this Palm Sunday. And we're going to keep these palm crosses and you can have them when the government restrictions are lifted and we can meet together again. And then you can keep them right way through until next Easter in 2021. But now let's light the candle. We light the candle to remind us that Jesus is with us as we pray. Take the crosses. We can't pass them round as we normally do. But just imagine that a cross is in your hands, one of these crosses. And we can say a prayer. We don't have to pray out loud because Jesus could hear us even if we pray in our minds. So now I will say a prayer and you can join in. Lord Jesus, thank you that you rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. Thank you that you are, ki are our King. And I pray that as I tell this story and as you watch it, God will bless each one of us now and evermore and always be king in our lives. Amen. Well, I know it will be a big disappointment that I can't look round the circle of children and say who would like to put out the candle. But this Sunday it's my privilege to do so. The light of Christ, which would be, has been in one place at one time, can now be in all places at all times. Amen. Let's pause for a moment and enjoy the candle smoke going out. 